Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of An Engineer's Opinion. This time I'm going to be talking about the new NVIDIA Shield tablet with the K1 Tegra processor. Let's jump over and take a look here. So this is the new tablet. It looks a lot like the old one. And the big deal here is it's $200. So let's come down and look at the specs here. So, sorry about that. It obviously, you know, like I said, has the NVIDIA Tag One Tegra K1 processor. It has an 8 inch screen with 1920 by 1200 uh, resolution. So that works out to 283 PPI. The iPad Mini 4 is 324 PPI, so the screen has a little less resolution, but not really that much. Uh, so that really is not going to be a problem. The storage you see here is listed at 16 gigs, but it has a micro SD slot, so you can throw in a 128 gig card and have all the space you're ever going to need. And obviously it's got all the standard wireless stuff you'd expect with the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz dual band with Bluetooth and GPS. And the other nice thing here, it has, it says, 4K Ultra HD ready, so it has a micro or mini HDMI output, I believe it is, and it's got a front and rear cameras. It has front facing speakers, it's running Android 5.0 Lollipop, and what else here? So here's the size uh, it's 221 by 126 by 9.2. And let's compare that to the iPad here. So the iPad is 200 by 134 by 6. So it's a little taller, but it's not as wide and it's a little thicker. And it's also about 20% heavier. So it's going to feel a little more substantial in your hands, but otherwise it's going to be pretty close. And so it lists all these optional accessories. And so this is how they got the price so low is they didn't include all of the crazy stuff like the controller, a stylus, the cover. So, you know, here are the accessories they pointed out. So this world charger here has just all the international plugs with a high amperage output. The tablet cover is a little stand. I'll show you that in a second. Then there's a little stylus if you want to draw. And then there's the full-fledged controller uh, if you want to get some serious gaming going on. So let's jump up to the top here and we'll jump to a picture of the cover so you can see it kind of sitting on its little cover here uh, so this is pretty great and like I said $200 uh, here on Amazon for an extra 40 bucks they throw in the memory card if you want one or an extra 60 bucks they got one with the controller um, and they did a great job of providing a little chart comparing it to the iPad mini 4 and it, they pretty much just went after this and killed it um, so if you're looking to replace your old dying um, aging Nexus 7 2012 or 2013 edition this would be a great tablet to pick up you know it's the similar price point and it's got all the top of the line specs like your Nexus had three years ago so if you're looking for a new tablet you love Android I take a look at the Nvidia Shield tablet with the K1 Tegra processor that's an engineer's opinion